But guess what? You're live. We're live and direct. Bow, 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 bow. It's your 8 o'clock resin hour with your host, Jeffrey Thornton. You don't begin about all my information. Oh, because it's not already all over it? It's just because. All right. This is the palette for <clears throat> We got some new paint. And I'm, I'm... What up, Jim? I love it so far. We haven't used it on literally anything yet. Yeah. We've used this. This is... If you guys ever want Hi, wanna, Judy. If you ever want to paint something black, this is called Blackout. Um, it's made by Montana. And it's called Blackout Tar Black. Hi, Bonnie. It's like super black. And it's very even. Like, normally when you spray black on something, like to try to make a background black, it's very spotty. Like, it looks kind of flat, looks kind of shiny. This stuff is solid black. Like, it makes for an amazing background. Awesome. We use it on our, when we do the lips paintings. And we're going to, I think we're going to do a live lip painting this week. Yeah. From start to finish, I would like to. And a geode. I'm finally going to do geode. This What's is our up, Bonnie, guys. Tim, Debbie, Paul, Margo? Welcome, welcome. Walk on, walk on. Leanne. And we have some price tags. If anybody's interested, hold on. Oh. Let me get my light because you know I love to use my light. Tink. And you can see what we've done. And they do. Hi, Carmen. Oh, yeah. Hi, Amber. What, uh, oh, what y'all. I got some new boards and they're, mm, I can't remember what he said. Greg made them for us. Solid, solid. But this is birch, it's super light. 30 bucks There's Greg. Piece. Um, These are pieces that we've gone like and done this week. If you guys are interested. This, this is the one, one from yesterday. And it's so difficult to see the Maui in it. The Maui is so amazing. But I, I'm loving all these super light, tiny line cells. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Hi, hey, Clara. We call this one the Neon, neon Dreams. Yeah. Mm, I guess. But let's see if this will work. We put some glow in the dark in it. Tim, thank you so much for the contribution. Tim gives $20. Thanks, Tim. We're going to try that stuff in something else, too. And then this is the... How's the connection, guys? What is it? What are we looking like? I like this lacing. Oh, it looks better when you hold it light up like this. And then we have this one. People haven't seen this one, really. Yeah. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Bonnie. Jim, you dropped that. This is the one from a couple days ago. With the silver mayor on. We call it asteroid explosion. Is that what we call it? I just made it up. Mm. I love it. It's I fun. Wish these were like 10 times bigger, though. Yeah. It. Yeah. That's what she said. We can go there. <clears throat> I want to do more in the Mayron. We're going to do another coat on that one. And then Pop. that was the last one we did spray paint on. Bomb Pop was loving. Well, that silver looks so sick. All the cells. That was right. powder, right? Yeah, no. That was all spray paint. So, you're going to need these cups, not these cups. Why is that? Because it's spray paint and it will melt this to pieces. You are correct. Y'all. I was checking to see if you were paying attention, babe. Ah. It's true. All. Because, girl, you know it's true. You're dumb. So, I found out the hard way that, hey, Lou, if you put spray paint in anything other than a paper cup it will eat it and you will paint your floors it'll eat right through it hey shy hey ann glad you made it 
No way. No way. All right, you're going to have to shake these because I haven't shaken any of them. I'm shaking them oh. all. Okay. All of them. So, yeah, tonight we're doing white. It's just... It, we just do it, like... Welcome, Dawn. You can't think too hard because you're, you'll start getting all these ideas. <clears throat> And it's, it's just frustrating for me. It's very frustrating because then I have really bad ADD. So then I start thinking of all this different stuff I want to do. And then it just goes away. I, I, I get no inspiration. It's gone. Hey, so Tony. I like to just do it. Yeah. If he thinks too long about it, he'll lose interest. All right. The sound is too low. Okay, got it. Hey, Clara, welcome. Uh, yeah, if you you can use that to put spray paint in, but any thin plastic is not gonna work. Scott, welcome. Thank you so much, Miss Owens. Two and two. Two and two. So what is that? Eight ounce. So we're using Envirotex Light today. It is a two-part resin. This is one-to-one. -one. Also, B, they can't hear you on camera, so you have to speak up. And it's a great resin. I've, I don't think I've ever had a problem with it. It doesn't have a crazy strong smell. In fact, I can't even smell it until like a whole bunch of heat hits it for a long time. And if you're just now joining us, here are our color palette tonight. We got some new gold. This is the acrylic kind by Montana, we're, we're, we never really use black, right? I guess we do kinda, what do we use black on? We use black on... Black on black, when it's a background. Yeah. We never, we rarely use black in it. Right. So, this is gonna be, <clears throat> I'm scared of it. This was my original color palette, and then I said, take away black. Just because I'm afraid it's gonna get muddy. But we're gonna do, I wanna to try to do that negative thing mm -hmm. again, the negative space, and just do colors in the middle. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the I'll put clear down, then white, pink, let it kind of flow together, and then maybe add a black, kind of maybe a to real thin. So I set it in in the gold. Man. Excited about the palette. It'll look good. Mix that. Um, Clara, I'm glad you tried the white on white. I wonder if you could send me how yours turned out. I'm sure it turned out more white than our white on white. How do you guys manage your drips and the cleanup of them? Are you talking about under the boards? Kim, I can absolutely answer whatever questions you have. Just, you can message me, you can do them in the comments, you can ask them here. Happy to answer. Hi, Tammy. It's like we try to do a Q and, like, set up a Q&A, but our, all of our posts are Q&A. I know, they're just all Q&As. Judy said she bought some of the Black 2.0 since we were talking about it the other night. Hasn't gotten in yet. I hope it gets in by Thursday. I'd like to see it in person. See if it actually looks like a black uh, hole. Yeah, it like no reflection, no nothing. <laughs> I would be, I would love to see that. Let's just pour these in so it gets it out of the cup. Janet says she uses black as a negative space and puts white where you want the lighter colors. Not a bad way to do that. Perth is in the house. Hi, Candy. 
Lori, welcome. Um, the drips under the board, uh, sometimes we'll tape it off and then pull the tape off three hours into the curing process and that will alleviate, nope, eliminate the drips. Nope. If we forget and go to bed and the drips harden, you can use a heat gun to heat it up and um, like an X-Acto blade to cut it off. Speaking of a heat gun. Oh, it's right here. And lastly, if it sets too long, you can always um, sand it off. Be careful though, because this happened to me last time I used the sander. Um, Kim, are you looking for resin to buy online or like in person? What is the reason for not using oil paints? I saw a video tonight and the lady said her experience with it caused it to cure glass hard. So I experimented and can let you know how it does. All right, and from experience, I may have mixed too much really pigmented oil paint into the resin. I don't know, but since the nature of oil paint, it like never really sets. It makes the resin never really set and I had like leaks of color out of the front of my canvas. It looked like there were little holes and it leaked out of the front onto my floor. It was the weirdest thing. It looked like it was melting from the inside. And it never stopped. It, it looked like it was a possessed painting. Like if you were to see a painting in a movie, like poltergeist painting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We have a window open, so always be in a ventilated area when you do this. And have a ventilator or respirator on. Chris, in the last video, I think the highest was like 84. That's all the spray paint we use for small amounts. We'll see. You can you can see how how opaque, like when you stir it. But this is blackout black. Like if you guys just joined us. We love this black, it's by Montana. Um, it's called Blackout, tar black. And it is 100% amazing for backgrounds if you wanna paint a background. Oh, last video I think our highest at whatever point was 84 people. Yeah, that's really... You gonna put more in it? Yeah, that's very... Has to be online. Kim, um, art resin is good, although I haven't used that much of it because it's hella expensive for my budget. Um, Pro Marine is really similar to it. And also I like countertop epoxy FX and Envirotex Lite, all of which you can order online. I will link all of those in the description box below after I post this video. So you can have just a list. I'm scared to put this in there. Why? It's fine. The purple painting in the back is beautiful. Thank you. I had to let that dry one more day because I used a really strong adhesive that hadn't set fully. So as soon as that's done, which is probably tonight, I'll put the clear resin over it and post a video on that. I would show you guys how I'm doing this, but it would get on the camera. Yellow. Um, you put it, if you try, you don't want to spray it directly into it. So you you put that tip right at the edge and just spray so it kind of hits it and goes around so you don't get any splash back yeah, it, it will splash when it gets too much in there this is not our favorite rust-oleum this is an acrylic based gold not the enamel like the other kind so but this stuff works good if you want to do those veins that's true and then it, it I, I guess i would like to call that just butterflying yeah, and sometimes it doesn't cure, but I've heard of people that had no problems at all with putting oil paint into their paintings. This is some bright ass pink, y'all. From Loop Pro Writing Tools. If you're new to graffiti, writing means a graffiti writer. A graffiti writer is a graffiti artist. Also, I don't know how many of the ladies on our 
page are graffiti writers. And little do you know, but Erica can use a spray can like a graffiti artist. She's, it's a lie. She's very, she's, she, she took me painting when I first met her. That's how she got me to go do something with her. She invited me to go painting. And I turned her down a couple times. He did. I was and, rejected uh, twice. And uh, so we get to this spot. I take her to go paint. And she paints a sea turtle, like nobody's business. I said, okay. And then I threw him in my trunk and drove off. That's true. Does the enamel work better than the acrylic? Mm -hmm. It depends on what you're going for. The enamel sticks to itself better. This is some like... Why is it bad? No, it's just really thin. Oh, maybe add more resin. Um, it depends what look you're going for, ultimately. Depends on the piece of which I'll, I will, if we use the we're enamel gonna, or yeah, acrylic. Ones too, because this is probably going to be way too much color. All right. Greetings from SoCal. Do you do anything in particular to keep the spray can tip clean? Show them the thing. Well, you can, after you spray, turn it upside down until and there's nothing coming out but air. There's a little bitty paint coming out, but there's none right now. That'll clean the tip of your... That'll clean it. However... Don't wipe it. You could probably take like mineral spirits or a paint thinner and wipe the, wipe the tip off, but I think it'll be fine. Um, and we've soaked them in a paint thinner before, but it didn't really get in there to clean it all out. The other thing was, oh, Rust-Oleum, most of them are multi-directional caps, so you can't use that trick. It, it won't ever clean out. Yeah. The, uh, this stuff, they make it three good, I don't know, that's Bell's bar. Yeah, this stuff, just two times, it goes, you can paint with it upside down, sideways, and it just keeps painting, so there's no use in that. Um, Rita Kiss does use oil paint and she does it very well with her resin. She is probably a magician or a wizard. <laughs> She's got secrets. Miss Owen says she uses resin and oil together and it works beautifully. So maybe it does work. I may have just used too much. Yeah, he did. He said no twice. All right, we're going to do a negative type pour again. How do you know how much resin to use for each pour? We use estimated guess situation. There are plenty of, um, like, what is it? Equations. Math. There's math out there to figure out how much you need per square inch. I, however, I'm not good at those things, so... We kind of just eyeball it, and if we have stuff left over, then we will make coasters or another canvas. Probably make another canvas. So this is the first time we're using this spray paint, so we don't know how this is gonna turn out. Yeah, Lou, if you put it on the, um, if you use the enamel gold spray paint, raw without mixing it into the resin it's sometimes you'll get pits but if you use a thinner line of it it won't pit on you i think that's just the the nature of enamel judy wants to know number one why did you have to ask oh why did i have to ask you out and also are you insane because i didn't know i didn't know about her i was new to town and so I just, I just did it myself. Cause I'm a business lady like that. But we'll tell the story later about how that really went down. It's actually a long, funny story. Let's see. I just bought a bunch of PBO paints and tried to try and resin this summer. Shy, um, 
a lot of those, like the fairy tale ones or whatever, like the moon something or other, you have to use them carefully because they'll give you pits like Resi Blast does. Are there different caps for spray paint? There are a billion different caps like for spray paint. All my caps paint. are at that. Um, I would show you, but... We, we, have, we have quite a few. We probably have like a hundred different caps. But, I mean, they don't stay good forever. Um, the working time of the resin that we use is about 40 minutes in ideal temperatures for resin, which is about, a, it's a dry 75. The trick is try to get it out of, out of your bucket. Put it in a cup, another cup, kind of mess with it. Don't let it set in the bucket for, you know, 30 minutes or it'll definitely start heating up. Have y'all tried Rust-Oleum's Hammered Effects line? I use the Hammered Effects on a lip painting that I did and I have some left over and I'm going to use it in resin because I think those types of paints would give super interesting results in resin just because they're so different. I'm going to try that for y'all. Do y'all sell the pieces you make? Mackenzie, we absolutely do. As full-time artists, everything that we paint, even if we love it enough to keep it, is for sale. Like Bertha, I wanted to keep her, but when I finish her, she will be for sale. All those pieces, we have to finish up because they'll be for sale. Thank you so much, Serby. Where do you sell them? Do you have an Etsy page? I do have an Etsy page that I haven't updated since we got it. Um, it's just a lot between all the social media that we do and the website and keeping everything up to date. Since we do a fresh painting every day, it's just a lot. So I haven't updated my Etsy, but we have somewhere. Hold on. This is our social media that I will show you when he's done doing that because I don't want y'all to miss anything. It's a great color. Hi, Ella. That's fun. Hey, Marjorie. The white's not enamel, is it? It's just acrylic too, right? Great paint. Interesting. If it was green, it would remind me of the Joker's question mark from like the old Batman movies. All right, I don't know how this is gonna, I'm scared to use this. Well, if you don't want to, then leave it pink and white and gold. Look at this. I know, it's great. Does it look too much like a question mark? I think it does. It looks 100% like a question mark. Robin says she did her first resin pour the other day and it went like a jelly. Wasn't sure how long to keep stirring. I thought I had to get all the bubbles out. Now it's in the bin. Robin, depending on what quantity you're stirring up, like for this amount, we do for like two minutes, something like that. You just want to mix it till it's clear. You can't mix the bubbles out because mixing it together creates the bubbles. So it would be impossible to mix it out. What happened is your resin cured in the cup because it's confined. And so it got really hot really quick, more than likely. It may have started to smoke. So the idea is to mix it till you don't see like, I don't know, swirly lines in it and get it out of the cup as soon as possible to have the longest working time. Also, what brand were you using?
What's a Discord chat? Look at that. Fun. Ellen says you have a lot of control with your resin. Well, this is the thing with what I just did. This, I do that a lot in my artwork. <laughs> like I do a lot of filigree. Uh, filigree and lettering and that's, I think I just get that from my airbrush background from doing t-shirts. That looks like an octopus tentacle. I don't know if I want to use this. If you don't want to use it, Let's then don't. Let's do this. Let's, we'll get one of those boards that you just did, make this a background. Okay. Do you want me to go ahead and pour it on a it? Negative. No. I don't know. How warm are your resin right before you, you go to use it? Not when it's already activated. I can feel it being warm right now. Like that's the thing you have to, you have to get it out of it. Out of Chris, are you talking about like putting the bottles in water, like a warm or hot water to get it to thin out? Hi, Dan. It is e-science for sure. Solid Solutions, that's supposed to be a pretty good brand. I think what happened is you just left it in your mixing cup for too long and when air can't get to it, it'll speed up the heating and curing process. So I would say try it again and just mix it until you know it's like fully incorporated with itself. So just until you can't see the two different mixtures mixing together. I don't even know if that made sense. Looks like a musical note. Tammy, I will ask Linda about, about all that. Rod says your resin stays in place really well. His just slushes off to the sides. We prepped this canvas three times to make sure it was as stiff as possible. And um, that's the most like controlled resin pour I've ever seen. I'm pretty positive. All right now, this is what, this is what makes this cold look good. If you Take here's the cup. Just straight more gold. Thank you, Kelly. You put a little bit of resin in it. I need a pointy stick. Okay. Let me get you a pointy stick. Ow, I just tripped. Okay. I've heard good things about solid solutions. I haven't looked into it myself. That's what she said. Hi, Barbara. Mackenzie, we definitely do custom pieces for people. That's probably two thirds of our sales are from custom ordered pieces. When mixing, you have to clear the convection's currents. That's when it's fully mixed. That's, yeah, what I was thinking. Moo, he's just on it, dog on it. Rod says he really wants to take a few paint buckets of resin and just throw them into the air and onto a canvas like giant splashes. You that is exactly what he wants to do. Like I'm looking for a larger studio just so I can figure out how to make that happen. Like I want to, I want to take, I want to stand in the middle of a 15 by 15 foot canvas on the floor and take a big old bucket of black and just go in a circle, just as, like splash in a big circle. Lori, mm -hmm. I am working on getting my geode life together. 
I've had a couple of people ask me about it. I'm going to test what I've read up on, all the homework that I've done, all the stuff to mix into it that I collected, and I'm going to figure it out for you guys and show you all the secrets that I've picked up and learned on my own about geoding. I'm gonna do the first one I've ever tried, probably this week. Erica, go to the sidewalk and Jeff can dump the paint. If I could throw paint out of this window, right. I would totally do it. But that building right there is headquarters for the Dallas police. So, meh. Lou says he's also looking for a studio where he can do a crazy large piece and get nuts with the paint. Why don't you use a flame torch? A do. flame touch or flame torch? Um, Jeff prefers the torch over. It's just easier access to get to it. Whoa, I would have been so mad. Do you ever try putting a spray gold directly on the stick, then running it through your piece like that? That's basically what that is, what I'm doing. It, it has just a little bit of resin in it so that it, it sinks in with it. Uh, it sinks in with the resin, but it still leaves a shiny coat. And if you have to sand it down and it's just raw resin on top, you're gonna scrape away the luster of the gold. So you wanna mix just minimal little bit of resin into it but i know what you're talking about um stone coat countertops does that he'll like spray it on the stick and then do veins thank you steve how can you create a gold swirl on a white background like that i, I guess it's like that is that a wrap the white are you leaving little, yeah, let me the, the, let me see it, it. What were you saying? I don't know, the, the pink just looks a little cheap for some reason. I don't know why. Here, let me get that light so you can... What light? My new light. Oh. I hope these cells stay that way. Oh, they will. Look at that. That pink is just bananas. Oh, you could see the gold. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Are you gonna do another one? Yeah. All right, let's get to it before that resin dries. I mean, sets, you know what I mean. Hi, Gloria. That white is just about the same color as. Hey, Mackenzie, that'd be mm -hmm. awesome. I would love to do some custom pieces for your new apartment. Um, send me an email at this email address. And if you want, if any of you guys want to tag us in any of our social media, that's that. And these are the sponsors all the way up till 5 p.m. today. So thank you to all of y'all. It means the world to us. So, oh, that giveaway is on the 22nd. Um, so yeah, Thornton Artist Till Death is our email address. All right, this is a board, right? Yeah. Okay. My kids interrupted me. I'm gonna do a crazy, like, I'm gonna do a pour with this. Yeah, Chris, you can't go backwards in live videos, but I will post the video, so it'll be like a regular one after I end the live feeds. Also, you can ask the question again, and I'll answer it again. Shy, I remember those troll dolls. I wish I still had mine.
Do you know where we can purchase the Maui Blue? I checked and it was $60. Um, they sent that to us. <laughs> they sent that to us just to try it out. But I can probably talk to them about sending out... Because that's where the full like big container is. I bet they sell it in like ounces for like artists because Maui comes from a company that does floors. So they do larger quantities. I'll figure that out for you, Lori. Next one with glitter, please. <laughs> we'll do a glitter one. Get some glitter and put it in that pink. What color? Silver. Silver. Check. Put it in what? Put it in the pink. Mm -hmm. You're going to trust me with this? Just. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I always over glitter. I'm going to say that may be enough. Maybe not. Maybe it was super thick. For this? Oh, wow. I told you. No, it's fine. Wow. Tuning in late, but gorgeous piece. Thanks, Natalie. I can't see the names. Okay. Barbara, if you hang on for just a minute so I can get this done. I will pull that page back up for y'all. I just don't want to miss anything he's doing. Do you two take a lot of time to level the surface? We definitely do make sure the surface is level. We have one of those big industrial level bars. I don't know what they're called. Some people use their phone too. Judy wants to know, how did Artist Till Death come about? Uh, I had a... a a clothing type of clothing line about 10 years ago. And I've always just, I've always written it. Like I've always written artists till death just because that's, I guess what I feel like, like I'm an artist till I die. Like it's what I know. It's what all I've done my whole life. So I would be an artist. He's just an artist till death. Are we coming to San Diego anytime soon? Well, we could because we do travel. <laughs> we do. We travel a lot. You're right. It is not possible to over glitter. I'm surprised that this gold is acting like that. Um, the enamel spray paint. How about Ohio? I can put Ohio on the list. You should make t-shirts that say artist till death. I would buy. Well, that's what we'll do. One. Thank you, Maxine. Have you been to Australia before? No, ma'am, but it is so on my bucket list. I can't even tell you. I want to go so bad. So many of y'all awesome resin artists are there and it'd be amazing to meet y'all in person come to massachusetts very jody geody oh geody geody maybe i'll use this as a base of, to my geode um, Tammy, of course, we will film the making of your piece. Chicago. Plus one on the shirts. We have like four people that want shirts. Thank you, Tim. What about live classes and seminars? I want to do one of those so bad. I just don't know how many people in Dallas would attend or make the trip. I don't know. I guess I should put feelers out. It's black. I'm not digging the black. I'm glad I didn't put that in there. I'm not feeling it. Not at all. feeling the black? Mm -hmm. That's weird how it. Tim's only five hours north. Karen said she'd fly down. Maybe we should do that. Let's talk to Artco about putting a class together. 
You may not like the black with this piece, but it's very interesting. Move your finger. You like to get burned. No, that just happened one time. Wine and pour, exactly. Did you guys go to Monica class? No. The black would look good with a rich green. I agree. Margarita and a pour in Mexico. Yes, ma'am. 100%. We are really good friends with a hotel owner down in uh, Isla Mujeres down in Cancun. I think that would be amazing to set up something like that. We could also just go to Judy's. This is strange. Thank you, BB. <laughs> Um, I would love to see photos of that. If you want to send it to my email address, Thornton at Artist Till Death, two T's, two L's. And here you go, Barbara. The names. If I forgot anybody, just let me know. And I will 100% add you. I started that list way late. This is definitely Thank you, different. Rod. I would definitely fly from Iowa. Maybe we should. Y'all, I'm out of wine, so I'm I'm down to rosé cider. Sippy, sippy. Thank you, Clara. Let's see. Let me go back. I miss people. I would totally buy a shirt. I'd buy a shirt. I've done two resin pieces, 24 by 80 inch desks. All right. I see you, Tim. We do tables a lot. In fact, we're about to do one that's going to be a junk food table. Y'all aren't even ready for that. We're going to encase real junk food in resin, put it in a table, and then resin over the whole thing. I have it all planned out. I did my homework. I just have to do it. I'm scared. That looks like vining. Wait till you see it in the... Under the light? Yeah. Natalie said Cancun. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Judy's place does look amazing. I've done all the research on how gorgeous that spot is. And as a chef. That silver makes like a layer that... <laughs> I oh, love you can't these. See it. I know. They look like leaves. Yeah. That's called control. Control. I wonder if it acted like that because of the glitter. It's cell yeah. within it. itself. Yeah. It's weird. It celled in it, not like it didn't travel. Let's see, let's see if it'll travel. Let's see if it'll do. Do it over here in this. Hey, Rona. Robin says she likes how we get along. You know, I had someone comment on a video that we posted and was like, can y'all not fight in every video? <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, I'll continue to not fight in every video. Thank you so much, Clara. I did black and emerald and gold, etc. That sounds beautiful. Judy said we should set up a week workshop at her place in Belize. Yes, ma'am. People like the peace bee. All right. The consensus is that we have to get shirts. Oh, yeah. I really want to do shirts. So we have a friend that will make them for us. It is. It's supposed to be a junk food table for a, a pub in town. It's not a pub. It's a dive bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hate pubs. Brona said, fighting? Are you kidding me? Exactly. 
Does your resin stay cool while you work it? Robin, I'm sure that it's getting really warm because we're, we're, we're like really close to the end of the working time for this particular brand of resin. Yeah. God, I love that, what I did there. It's really subtle. I know, it's crazy that they're, it's staying. That looks like a for real leaf that I couldn't even paint if I tried. Love those details that Jeff is doing. I do too. Look, the gold stayed with itself inside of the gold. I don't even know. This is just something that he used to do or still does when he paints with his airbrush and a paintbrush. He does a lot of filigree. Fun fact, y'all, he used to paint motorcycles and cars. Airbrush, like, design works on them. Design works? I don't know if that's real. So, what's up? Is it, is it setting? I mean, you can feel it. You can, like... You can definitely feel I it. I like how these colors look together. I want to do a black and gold and a white one. What's happening? Oh. I was just kidding. Ellen said she can't paint filigree to save her life. She's been trying for 20 years. I tried one night and it looked like just scribbles. But he's got it down. Are you gonna add more to it? No, because I don't know what to do. Well, what do you got left? I have black left. Mm. You got a pit right there. Anne said if she had the money, she would fly us up to do a custom paint job on her dad's Challenger. He hasn't done a car in so long. <laughs> I've, I've painted so many cars, so many lowriders, so many motorcycles, so many motorcycle helmets, so many bicycles. And it's a, it's a whole different whole different thing when you paint a car hood. Let's see how your other one's doing. Yeah, let's put this underneath. It's fun. It's a fun little whimsical piece. <laughs> In case you guys want to send me some of your artwork, photos, there's that. the information. That looks like a completely different pink. Do you have the light? Yeah. Y'all have to see this gold under light. I don't think that the pink is too harsh at all. All right. It's crazy how much that gold lights up when anything hits it. Oh, I didn't know it faded out right there. I never even thought to do that stuff that I do, like, because I always thought it was just so, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't mm -hmm. stay. God, I love, man, this is gonna be like my favorite piece. <laughs> I like that I part. Wish, I wanna do, part. I wanna do a background a little bit like put a little bit of black and some white paint the background so where it still almost looks whitish more gray and then do the negative with the white it would definitely show up i agree 
Can't wait to see how that one sets. You guys seeing this? Are you seeing this amazingness? You're done. Here's the other one. The last time we tried to do white on white. Mm. It just looks a little sloppy. It, that, I love that part. Okay. <laughs> so, so the people, if they want to buy some artwork, these are all for sale. This is the one we just did uh, yesterday. Yeah, that's yesterday's. You can move that. Mm-hmm. Hey. We, we got some new. Oh, all right. I just want to get a shot of this metallic blue. Can you see it? Yeah, when you move the light over it, you can see the shimmer and how it changes colors. Tammy, I appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you so Tammy. much. That's I my favorite do, part. I want to do this. one with just that. Like, you just you, what you do is you just you pour just a little thin line and you heat it up and you barely blow on it. Like you blow right next to it and it just kind of seeps in with the other colors. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm gonna go get the neon. You're gonna get the black light? Yeah, mm. So this one we did two nights ago and it actually glows under a black light. So I'm gonna show you guys that before I let you go, before I dismiss the class. Um, people ask about our sides all the time. We, it depends. Depends on what it looks like and if the client, most of our clients like a raw organic edge. They so, don't even, like people don't even ask about it when they buy a painting. If they want the edges done, then we'll sand it down and do a flood coat. But we haven't had anybody request that, so. All right. When someone does, I'll make a video. All right, we're gonna show you guys this piece in the dark and now in a black light. All right, so this is with light and this is with black light. You're dumb. Scary, scary. You're not scared. Look at the price tags below. <laughs> All right. With? I will say that if you're going to do um, a piece like this, oh, beat here, put this over the fluorescent pink one we just did. Don't use craft paint. What did we use last night? It was horrible. Oh, snap. What? I didn't even really think about it, but this is a fluorescent pink and it just glows fluorescent like hot orange hot orange that's interesting all right good to know wow yeah that was um well this part is nope can't see it um we didn't mix that much golden glow into this we'll do another one that has that Right here has a golden glow. Oh, here, I'll show you. Put a light on it for a second. It'll be a lot more like evident in the dark. Oh, yeah. Here, hold this. All right, she's gonna go turn the lights off. All right, so we're gonna put this light on it. It's only like in this area right here. It glows. Control. Can you see it very much? Yeah, a little bit. We, we, we probably could have just mixed it alone, put it in there, and then put the paint over it. It would, it would glow like crazy, but we mix it in with paint. But yeah, there you go. What is the name of the hot pink spray paint? It is called... Ooh. Flow Pink... 413. It is by Loop. The gold on this one is Montana gold. It's just, oh. It's acrylic. Not regular. It is acrylic. It's 
gold chrome. Very appropriate. Um, tomorrow, Jeff's going to go live at his mural painting in Deep Ellum. And um, he'll show you a little bit about what he's doing there. It's not moving at all. Um, tomorrow night we're going to do another piece for you. We may even do a lip painting. I don't even know if y'all are interested. I have to do a 30 inch by 40 inch of that. So I don't know if you guys want to see the process, but I'll post it. And I'm going to do that tonight and post it in the morning. And what else is coming up? What else? What else? Um, thank you to everybody that contributed. If you don't see your name on here, I type this up when I can't see straight at the end of the day. So if I forgot anybody, just message me. I have no problems admitting that I make a lot of mistakes. If you want the skins, we have them. <laughs> I'm collecting a box of them for the people that are requesting them. Um, they do come apart. Uh, what else is happening? Look at that. No? I don't know what else is, ha what else is happening. You tell me. Um, I think that's it. Tomorrow night we're going to do another pour with some glow-in-the-dark powders, I think, that we just haven't used yet. They're, like, this one glows blue. And then I have two more that glow purple and a whole bunch of other colors, so... We'll be doing that one tomorrow. If you have any requests, questions, comments, concerns, anything, please leave it in the comment box below. I'll leave our contact information and the stuff that we use in the video and all that in the description box. And please feel free to tag us, hashtag A-T-D-A-R-T. doing out there so good night everybody bye i said bye i said bye